I went to Pikanjikam to help community members share their stories. And what we did was we had each person ask someone to, to share their story and we took a photograph of that person and then they layered artwork on top to share more of their stories. Um, and it was really inspiring because I feel like community is very important and sharing stories that are untold is also very important as well. Um, so it was amazing to see that exchange of information. And Pecan Jigam is just such a beautiful community. And you can see that in all the community members, you can see that in the, the youth and the generations that are coming. And, and also just like the importance of um, the history there being taught by elders to the younger generations. Dorothy is the uh, elder for the uh, education office. But she's been a board member for a number of years. And the uh, person that she talked to me about was her uh, father. And uh, she had uh, many stories about her dad. How she never went to school, like in a school setting like this. Her uh, education came from the bush, so hence the uh, trees. These are trees. Boy, to hear. While living in Vikantikam, I learned one thing, that continuity and consistency is very important, especially for a community so remote and isolated. While I was there, I saw some projects that would come and go. Jamie's project is much different than that. It's going to start, but it's going to keep going beyond the one-off. And the fact of the matter is, it's really important we do that because then chose the community members that were, were there for the long run, were not just temporary. And I think that's the most important thing is that interaction is that I will talk to someone else who will talk to someone else who will now know about Pecan Jikam because they've never been or heard of it, which was my experience before I, I went there. So that's the most important part is that I can be that person who will carry that story on.